The fight for air dominance is changing with the disruptive technologies in the aerospace sector coupled with artificial intelligence. The next generation or fifth plus generation fighters are going to be supercomputers with faster detailing communication, advanced electronics and avionics and integrated computing. Recently, few countries have started working on unmanned wingman concept along with other unmanned platforms that can work as a team with a mothership which would be manned. HR has also unveiled this concept in Aero India 2021. However, the work on it has started back in 2018. HL has showcased its four different drones under CAT's lineup in Aero India 2021. They are Hunter, an air launched cruise missile, the Alpha, an air launched Swan drone, the Warrior, the Loyal Wingman, and Infinity Pseudo Satellite. Recently, there have been an update related to Hunter missile regarding which we will be discussing in this video. However, if you want to know about the complete CATS program, you can find a link in the description section for the same. Talking about Hunter, it's going to be first indigenous, long-range, autonomous, high-precision, air-to-surface cruise missile. As you can see in the image, there are two variants of Hunter attached with LCA pylons. The first one with a transparent fuselage is equipped with AESA radar. The second Hunter drone is carrying an optical sensor, infrared search and track sensor in its nose. Both of these platforms will be used to provide additional intelligence to combat aircraft and if required, it can also act as a cruise missile. The missile is going to have a range of 200 plus km, weight of 600 plus kgs and can carry a warhead of 250 kgs. The Hunter missiles are expected to be steelier in design than BrahMos missile. It will be integrated with Indian Air Force existing fighters such as LCA Tejas, Mirage 2000 and Su-30 MKI. It can be further extended to upcoming fighter jets like this MK2, TED-BF and AMCA. Now let's try to understand the significance of the Hunter missile. The Hunter missiles will be integrated with a mothership which will be a manned aircraft such as LCA Tejas or Jaguar. The Hunter missiles can perform deep penetration strikes, enabling mothership to carry out strikes deeper into enemy territory from a long standoff distance. Also, since the missile has cruising ability, it will be difficult to detect and neutralize. Now if we talk about the latest update related to its development, HL together with Gas Turbine Research Establishment GTRE has started manufacturing the engines required to power the Hunter missile. They are also working on two technology demonstrators of the turbojet engine which will be capable of generating a thrust of 3.2 kN and will be used for India's first air-launched cruise missile ALCM program or Hunter missiles. The turbojet engine is optimized for use especially on cruise missile and is planned to have a service life of 17 hours and can maintain and sustain in flight duration for 16 minutes or more. It should be able to achieve the range of 300 plus km at its peak speed of 0.85 Mach. It is going to be 74 cm long with a diameter of 31 cm and has a total dry weight of 44 kgs. Recently, DRDO has also tested its Manic or small turbofan engine STFE with nearby cruise missile which can generate a thrust of 4.41 kN over a distance of 150 km. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.